what you're looking at folks is a very disintegrated track not much remains but it's very deep and if you look at the tip of the track you kind of have toe impressions or what would appear to be toe impressions you know you could tell it rounds out here and then it comes down again rounds out here and then here and here I mean it looks like something had stepped down and made toe impressions in here and I'm not saying it's a huge track whatever made it had walked down and pushed forward trying to climb up this steep embankment which goes to the pe the peaks up here could it be Bigfoot? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I, I, will, I sometimes I'm sure of it, but th in this case, I don't know. All I know is that if it was a sneaker or a boot print, A, there would be treads. This is very soft, decomposed granite. And you would have, it would be curved all the way around. But it's not. You have, you do have some, where toes would be, you do have some divots and so whatever came through here I'm gonna try to track it but whatever came through here was heading to the Alpine woods and probably to the ridge and the over that ridge see where these trees are once you go a little to the right which is westward you dip down in the Tahoe Basin it's heavily wooded there's the Hobart Reservoir. It's, like I say, it's a wilderness in itself. And so it would make sense. It's, you can tell whatever made this track, look how big that is, was heading, was ascending up towards the National Forest. So our first sign of possible Bigfoot evidence, as you can see, you got Washu Seti just across the lake and and you know people can laugh and say oh you know be skeptical Bigfoot don't come that close and all this other stuff but that is not true this is free game this is wilderness this creature is not in a prison it can go where it wants to go if there was some deer roaming or some berries growing it had every right to come down here and collect those and that's what you're looking at right now you are looking at a very decent print. It's old, it's weathered, we've had snow and rain, but something did create that, something made that track. And so, whether it was Bigford or not, you know, when I address the issue about tracks that we find, I always try to tell people all the time, yes, I would like one, please. I tell people all the time, fruit snacks that something has to be making the tracks okay I don't think that track was created by a hoaxer I think something came up here and it kept going and there's more and more indentations like where heel impressions are there it is again and there you go look at that toes toes it probably stepped on the log, trying to avoid leaving an impression, but its toes still touch the decomposed granite and earth. And you got a couple smaller, you know, toes, probably the pinky toe and the toe next to it, but still, those are toes. Those are toes. It's not a fluke. Something was here, something made the tracks. We will continue on. We have a Bigfoot, ghost, and UFO investigation today. We will do all three so we can bring you diversity in this, this beautiful part of the wilderness we are. This is, this is the entrance into the Sierras, man. This is Sawmill Canyon. And trees were cut, yes... Trees were cut down, and flumes brought logs down to Carson City to be used in Virginia City. And there's got to be some early Bigfoot accounts. There has got to be, because this was heavily forested at one time. And I believe, I mean, we're not on any trail. This is very remote. 
a lot of brush you know there are some thick some thick foliage and I believe with the region as vast as this is I do believe there are Bigfoot up in this region as well as other parts of the Carson range where we have done our research at so I'm I'm not gonna give up something has toes and made that track you see it breathe it live it and understand that to find toes look at where we are to find toe impressions in the middle of here is kind of odd it's just strange okay and there's, I mean, there's not many things that have toes. Deer don't have toes. And you have to kind of look at logic and say, you know, maybe it's very possible there are Bigfoot creatures here. And they do, on occasion, as careful as they try to walk, they occasionally leave us a little surprise that we can kind of document. And this is a nice little surprise. This is your founder, Lord Rick Rowe.